Turners and the Makers and a warm welcome back to my channel. This week's project it is an unfinished clock. So it's time to get this back on the lathe and get this finished up. So without further ado I'll meet you at the lathe and let's turn this clock. Okay, and welcome to the live. So, we'll get our clock on there. Make sure that's running. Right, well, what I want to do first is get the tool rest on there. And the pencil. Right. So, we've got a little hand which I did start off. So, that one's actually okay. Now the next hand, which is about there, let's take that down there, and then we've got our second, which will fall just right. We'll get them out of the way. We'll mark that off. Like so. Right then. So I'll keep I'll start turning, you keep watching. And let's start on this clock. So I might end up changing that after because what I'm going to do is drill some holes in here and then fill them with resin. So I think I might do that now, get that done so it gets so it dries, and then we'll finish shaping it then, can't we? So yeah, I'll do that. So that's it for now on that. So we'll get this over to the bench, mark up where we're gonna drill the holes for the you know the twelve o'clock and six o'clock three nine. So we'll get this off now and get it over to the bench. Once I do that, we can get it back on then and get it all finished off. 
So we'll say it over the bench. Okay, right, so I'd already done the uh, marks for the uh, 12 and the 9 and 6 and the 3. So all I've got to do is do that there. Maybe this one. centimeters I'll knock it in the middle there sign that one bit of two Right, so I've got me forcing a bit, so I'll go out to the the drill press now, drill them the holes there, ready for the resin. So while I'll do that, I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay, right, so our holes are now drilled, making sure that I didn't go right through the bottom. Uh, right, I'm using the clear casting resin and I've decided to go to fill them in with the red so it will match with the second and so let's knock some resin up. Well then, so all I've got to do now is, see, every time that I've got some left over, all I do is just keep filling these little tubes up and then 
I end up with some pen blanks. So that's it for now. So we'll let this dry. When this dry, I will then see you at the lathe, and then we'll finish it off. So until that dries. I'll see you at the lathe. Okay, and welcome back. Right, our resin is now set and ready to go. But before I carry on with that, I found this bit of acrylic plastic just to. I want it to go into there. So, how I'm going to do this is get me glue truck with a little threaded nut inside which, which fits my lathe like so double sided sticky tape Center that on like so. We got the towel stock. Just to get my center. Mark out like so. Take that down just a fraction. That's it. So, let me see your mark. Alright, so hopefully that will stop on. And we'll pass it off. Right, that's through. So, right, what we've got to do now is just drill an hole through there, ready for the clock fit. This is the part now. I'll probably end up going and breaking it. Nice and easy. Okay, that's it. So 
So we'll get this off now. Okay then, so, right, we've got our piece on the row, so what we've got to do now is just mess around with that, so that fits in there. That is it. So hopefully now the piece will come through enough. So I'll test that just to make sure that it comes through enough for the fingers to go on. So once I've checked all that, test that, I'll come back to you. Okay then, welcome back. Right, that is now hang on for the workings of the clock when it goes through. The nut will go on there for the end. So, so we'll get that out. Get that out of the way. We'll start messing about, shaping it. Now, the big finger just touches that, so I'll need to just take that back a bit more. We're getting there on that, so I might just yes, I know what I'll do there. I don't need one, so then we'll put. On there, that's it. Just give it a bit more character. I'll just burn some lines in there just to match with the fingers because the fingers are black. So I'll keep going. Check that in just a touch. There. That's it. Carry on with the rest of it now.
All right, that's it. We'll run negative right scraper on that now. Just to clean it up. Just to give that, only that bit there, that there, it doesn't matter, that will get covered up and get that rubbed down. Only that bit there, I might have to do that line again when I've finished. Wrong one. That's all got to be rubbed down now and ready to to go. So I will do something with this part now. Which is probably just a bit of shaping. Just run it over a bit. And then I'll rub it all down and once I'm done that, I'll come back to you. Okay, welcome back. All the rubbing you down is now done. Uh, issues I've got. I've tried to turn it out, but it keeps breaking. Is I've got little bits of just chip out on the edge there. But what I can do, I suppose, I've a bit of thin glue. Let's see if I can just pour it in, where it will disappear. But for now, right, we'll get the sanding sealer on it now. Oh no, hold on. There's the sanding zero on. to burn them holes in them not oh so we'll get them holes burnt in right so that is, that's the plan I'm not gonna bore you through it all I'm going to put the couple of coats of sanding sealer on, then Yorkshire grit, and then choice of finish. I think I might just put wood wax 22 on, nice and quick. So once I've done all that, I'll meet you over the bench, and we'll fit all the bits and bobs in it, and then we'll have a look and a talk. Till then, speak to you in a minute. Okay, and there is my finished four clock. I'll leave some pictures at the end so you can have a look. Right, uh, problems I had with it. Just a bit of problems with the uh, resin there. Just a couple of chips on it. I suppose I could have carried on turning and got it out, but apart from that, I will try to repair them but yes this is one of them projects that was again that I started and not finished I've got a couple of them like that so why not why are we doing nothing why not get all the old work that you started and never finished and 
get them on the live and get them finished off. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I might have woke up. If you did, please like, share, press that squidgy button. Till the next time. Bye now. What else didn't you finish? Huh?